All right, so basically I wanted to talk about the rights that human beings have since they were born. So these are inalienable rights. This is the rights that every single human being, man, woman, and child have on this planet. And this cannot be taken away. This is something that we are born with and we will have forever and ever. So I will read in the back of this bill here what it says. It says, Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So this is like a United Nations law. So this is the law. Um, it was uh, written in 1948. 1948. Okay, so here's, here's what it says. All human beings, it says all human beings, are born free and equal in dignity and rights. Let me repeat that. Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1948. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. <sighs> well... I think that the majority of the human beings on this planet do not understand what that means. But I'll just read it one more time. Universal Declaration of Human Rights, 1948. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. That is a world law. And I would say a majority of the human beings on this planet do not, do not understand what that means and they do not claim that right. It is a right. It is the right of being born free and equal in dignity and rights. Anyways, um, let's see here. I wanted to talk about um, some stuff that I wrote in So I'm going back to the stuff that I wrote right after my NDE. They're just, again, they're scribblings, and I did make one video. I think it's semi-popular, but um, I'll show you a few pages because it's the scribbling is very difficult for me to even read. I have a very hard time reading my own writing sometimes. Um, okay, so here, I'll try to read it. Um, and if I can't read it, I'll basically just go go past it. Um, let's see here. There's a small section that says electricity, God force. Um, I guess I guess this page is quite interesting, but I think. I think that I think that it's something that people should really see because I have a very difficult time interpreting a lot of what um, a lot of the scribblings that I've wrote. This is this is another page here. Um, kind of like a manuscript. Um, Let's see here, it says, free at last. Um, you know what you are now, but not what you may become. Nothing you do is unimportant. Um, let's see here, time travel. Um, chaos theory. Um, let's see here. Okay, well, this this um, this page here um, says some really neat things. Um, it says, "No one judges you on the other side. You are your only judge. There's no religion, only yourself. Infinite love. Use it."
this is uh this is another page here. It says here change is easy, change is simple, change is immediate, um, change through thought, change equals simple. Okay, so I think that's another page. So let's see what it says here. Um, It says something about a vortex, um, and it has like a, um, there's like a picture of the earth, and that there are vor vortexes on the earth, um, so that's what basically that one tries to explain. Uh, there's not much here. Do I have? Uh, this little piece of paper here says, um, this is back when I s tried to start a political party, uh, People's Sovereign International. It says, People's Sovereign Right to Determine Their Own Will and Destiny, Freedom, Truth, Compassion. I don't think I have enough time for the rest. I'm not sure what it says there. Uh, okay, I think I do have time for the rest. Time for the rest here. Okay, I think that's it. So basically, uh, Oh, and for those investors out there, uh, I just wanted to show you a silver coin. Um, this is what it basically looks like. <laughs> 